Jen, we are going to get out and do some shooting. What are we shooting? An HKVP9. And what can you tell us about it? Why are we doing this? Because we... <laughs> hang on. We did... Oh, no, it wasn't a comparison. Hang on. What am I telling people about it? Hey guys, Jen and Steve here from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. Steve, tell me what gun we get to go out and shoot today. Jen, today we're going to go out and shoot the HK VP9. It's a 15 round capacity firearm. This particular gun has the luminescent sights, which basically means to us that they do have to be charged, meaning uh, sunlight or artificial light, whatever, but if they're sitting in the light, kind of like glow in the dark type toys that we used to have, uh, these will get charged and then they'll uh, be illuminated for a certain period of time. HK does also offer it with the night sight variant, uh, which is tritium, lit by tritium. Of course, that's lit all the time without being, without having to be charged. The gun is fully ambidextrous, and one unique feature about the HK VP9 is it does use the European style mag release, like a little paddle release at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Some people absolutely do not like it. I I'm happen to love it. For me, it's easier for me to reach because I have shorter fingers, and so I find that uh, I end up using my 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 strong hand that I'm shooting with as my primary and I'll use my middle finger mm -hmm. to eject the mag. One thing too about the luminescent sights is because they have to be charged by sunlight or some kind of artificial lighting, a lot of times the front sight doesn't get charged as much because it's in a holster. It's a great point. It yeah. doesn't have an opportunity to get that light to charge it. Uh, the gun does have a charging indicator on the rear to show you that you're in the basically the cocked position, so showing that it is ready to be fired. Mm -hmm. And it does have a chamber indicator as well over on the right-hand side of the firearm. So a lot of features to it. A lot of nice features. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting out and shooting it. Uh, have too. you shot one of these before? I have. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I've not shot the one with these sights, though, so I'm kind of excited to see what difference that might make. Awesome. Let's get out there and do it. All right, let's go. So we actually forgot to mention a couple important features of the VP9, one being the customization that's offered in the grips. There are interchangeable side panels and back straps, and this includes three different back straps and six different side panels, so you get three sets of those. And what's cool about that is that it's easy to change out because there's only one roll pin that holds it all together. Once you take the pin out, you can use any combination of side panels and back straps, ranging from small to large to get the perfect fit for your hand. Another cool feature of the VP9 that sets it apart from other firearms, similar in quality and size, are the wings on the rear portion of the slide. They protrude just enough to allow for a noticeable increase in your grip to rack the slide back, but they don't stick out too far and can be removed if you desire. Last but not least, we mentioned earlier that it is ambidextrous, but the slide lock on the right side of the gun, which would normally be for left-handed users, also caters to right-handed users because it gives a lot of extra leverage to use the slide lock when shooting with your non-dominant hand. That always happens to me. All right, so here we go with the VP9 once again, using a variety of ammo, including steel cased, brass cased, hollow point, non-hollow point. See if we can make this thing jam. No jams. So we got to take the HK VP9 out, and I know that I always enjoy shooting it, um, but since you're a little more experienced with guns, tell me what your in-depth opinion is. Well, uh, first off, this is probably one of the largest requests we get for a review. I will tell you, of every gun that I have fired and um, in, in, say, the last couple of years, this is the gun that I am considering switching to as my permanent carry firearm. I have fired them before and knew then that uh, I really liked it. In fact, I owned one for a short period that Jennifer did a stipple job on it for me. I did. <laughs> and so uh, she did a great stipple job on it. I regret selling it, but uh, it was the only one we had available at the time and somebody wanted to buy one, so we let it go. <laughs> I'm notorious for doing that. The one thing I can say bad about it is the grip 
although it is textured, it's just a little bit on the slick side for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I like a little more, a little more of an aggressive uh, texture on it. So a stipple job is something that I would recommend if I were going to own it. As far as how it shoots, guys, uh, there's not a lot of guns that I fired uh, that shoot as smooth as the VP9. I absolutely love the VP9, and you know the things that that would cause me not to go to it. One is my muscle memory is not quite there yet. My muscle memory is built around a different platform and I don't know that I'm ready to switch yet. So if I am going to switch, this is probably the firearm that I'll end up switching to. Once again, it does have that European style release. It's different. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, the, the angle of the grip is slightly different than what I'm used to, so it doesn't 100% point as quickly and as easily. But I will tell you, I do shoot more accurate with this than, than I do my current sidearm, and I am able to get back on target because it has a little less felt recoil. So two huge pluses for it, just so that my muscle memory doesn't quite have me there into this firearm just yet. I do like it, it's a great shooter. I wouldn't hesitate recommending it to anyone. They are really great. <laughs> Guys, as always. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Take care. Did you see what that just did? That was trippy. Wait, what did it do? <laughs> I don't know, it just like. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>